Hello everyone, this is Alex, and in this video, I want to show you how to quickly and easily create a people recognition system that can integrate with existing systems. Our solution will consist of two parts, a server and a mobile application. As the server, we will use a solution called CompareFace because it is currently the most popular and widely used open source solution in its niche. Please note that at the time of this video, the number of GitHub stars is approaching 3000. The easiest way to install CompareFace is by using Docker. To do this, you need to install Docker itself and follow these simple instructions. After installing Docker Desktop, you should see something similar to what you see on my screen now. Let's follow this link and open the Compare Face Administration Console. Since I already have an account, I immediately accessed the Compare Face dashboard. If you are running it for the first time, you will also need to create a new account. In the next step, we need to create a new application, go into it, and then create a service. Compare Face offers several types of services, but what we need is face recognition. Now we enter the service itself, and we need to upload a collection of our faces. The first person will be David Beckham. Compare face works effectively even when using only one photo, so let's upload it. Let's create another person and check how it works. We upload another photo and see that David Beckham was recognized with a probability of 1. Now let's move on to the second part of our system, the mobile application. We will develop it on the Appery platform because it is currently one of the best platforms that allows you to quickly create fully functional mobile applications. Click on Create New and select the Facial Recognition Template. Give it a name and click Create. This is what the Appery editor looks like. If you haven't worked with it before, I'll tell you that on the left side of the screen, you can see the structure of your project, and the Pages folder is the most important. All application screens are located there. We can open them, see how they are organized, and even customize them very easily. For example, we can change names, colors, or do something else. Let's leave it for later, and now let's check how it works. To do this, we need to install the tester application on the phone which is available on Google Play and the App Store. I already have it installed, and now you can see the screen of my phone on the screen so that you can see how this application works on a real device. Click on Test and scan the QR code. We see that there are four buttons on the phone screen, but two of them are inactive. This happens because our application doesn't know anything about the Compreffis server and where it is installed. To fix this, we can go to the settings section and set the host where Compreffis is installed and the API key of the application created in it. To fix this, we can go to the settings section and set the host where Compreffis is installed and the API key of the application created in it. To do this, open the command line and enter the IP protocol configuration command. Since I have several adapters, you will likely see less information on your screen. Here is my IP address. To find the application key, we need to go back to compare face. From there, we can copy it and enter our data into the appropriate fields. However, there is a more convenient way. We can directly set these settings in Appery. Open the project, then go to Model and Storage and navigate to the Storage section. Enter the key in the API key field and your domain in the host field. Don't forget to include the protocol, example HTTP, and save the changes by clicking the Save button. Now let's go back to the tester and click this button, then select the last option to reload our application and retrieve the latest sources from the Appery server. Our application has been updated. We can go back to the settings section and make any necessary changes. Most importantly, the top two buttons are now available to us. Let's click on the first user button, and here we will see a list of our users. For each user, we can swipe left to delete them. Let's add a new user. Click the plus button and enter a name. In the next step, we need to take photos. Click the Add Photo button.
While Compare Face can work effectively with a single photo, you can upload multiple photos. So, let's take some photos. We can swipe left and right to view the photos, and if needed, we can delete some of them. Similarly, we can view photos of all users. Now, let's move on to the most interesting part of our video, which is face recognition. Press the detect button, and the camera will be activated, initiating the recognition process. As you can see, I was identified fairly quickly with a 99% chance of being me. Now, press the close button and go back to the settings section. You may have noticed a toggle at the bottom permanent recognition. Let's turn it on and click the save button. Now, let's return to the main screen and start the recognition. As you can see, we have switched to permanent recognition mode, which will continue until we click the close button. You can also click on the logs button to view information about recognition, including who was recognized and at what time. Please note that this information is not stored in the mobile application but on the server. If you recall, I mentioned that Appery is a platform for creating mobile applications, which means it includes not only an editor for designing the appearance but also a database, a back-end server, an integration server, and many other components. You can click on the database link to access the corresponding section on the Appery website. Here, you can find the database for our application and explore the collections section. Currently, we only have one collection for logs, where we store information about recognized users. Now let's return to Appery and explore more about how this application works. Open the Pages folder and let's navigate to a screen called Start. This is the initial page of our application, which can be changed in the Routing section. On the screen, we have card elements, each with a routing property. For example, the Settings card element is set to navigate to the Settings page when clicked. Now, let's focus on the Detect button. We can see that it triggers a method called Face Recognition. To view the actual code for this method, we can go to the Code tab. Interestingly, you can find the methods for face recognition and working with the database in the service folder. One folder is responsible for face recognition, while the other handles database operations. Although testers are useful for testing and debugging, eventually you will need to build your own applications. Luckily, this is extremely easy to do in Appery. Simply select Export and choose the platform, Android or iOS, for which you want to build the application. Appery provides more than just a simple application creation tool. You can open the Guide tab and watch a video that provides a brief overview of how Appery works and how to efficiently create mobile applications. That concludes everything I wanted to show in this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Goodbye, everyone.